Please. Mayor. Thank you, Mayor, Council Persons. Hello, my name is Suzanne Pike, and I've been an Austin resident for 15 years. I come before you today as a homeowner who, along with my husband, has shared our home for over three, or nearly three years. We're licensed with the city. We've submitted our taxes from the beginning. I'm a neighbor. We are seniors who have been married over 45 years and are stable, quiet, responsible hosts. As a retired couple, we count on the space we share to help us afford to stay in Austin. In fact, we bought our house in part because we were aware of the home sharing ordinance in Austin at the time, and we thought it was very reasonable. Sharing our home is also important to us for many other reasons, including letting us meet people from all over the world, helping increase our social interactive levels, interaction levels, and broadening our minds to things out of our day-to-day -day experiences. We've welcomed local families who, due to flooding in one case, and an exceptionally bad mold, black mold problem in another, needed temporary housing. We've housed people who were considering a move to Austin, people moving to Austin and looking for a house, and a family that stayed with us while their house was being built. We've welcomed business groups looking to start or expand their business in our city. While some of our stays are longer than what is typically an SDR, we also rent short term and would like to continue to do so. If some, more of the, if some of the more onerous new amendments, amendments pass, we will probably have to give up our license. If that happens, we will continue to rent our place for 30 days or more per booking. We will not go long term since we've had prior experience that. As a gentleman mentioned earlier, that can be quite a nightmare. With short term rentals, even the longer ones, we have more control over our own property. We have more control over who we accept and we have less problems with damage or the guests themselves. I am a homeowner. We are a family. I am a neighbor. We are seniors and we are elders. I understand being an unhappy neighbor. I have, I have never lived next to a party house that is a short term rental, but I have lived next door to a house that was being rented long term and was definitely a party house with guys and gals coming and going all hours of the day and night and gathering at all hours in large numbers outside. By the way, their yard faced our master bedroom. That being said, what we need now is a clear and progressive ordinance, not flawed proposals which would add only more, buro more bureaucracy. Make no mistake, these proposed rules would hurt me as a law-abiding home sharer during a time of life when my husband and I in many ways are at our most vulnerable. Not doing short-term rentals will definitely affect our income and may force us out of our home and may even force us out of Austin. As the U.S. Conference of Mayors has stated, fair regulation of short-term rentals ensures greater compliance and greater receipt of local taxes. And owner's regulations of short-term rentals can drive the industry underground, thus evading local regulations and local hotel taxes. As, elective, as elected representatives of your constituents, please don't hurt people like ourselves who do a great job sharing our home while keeping our neighbors and our guests happy. Please vote against these flawed proposals that punish licensed, tax-paying good actors like myself. The state of Texas recognized in the six state Supreme Court rulings that SDRs are residential, not commercial, not business properties. The third court of appeals and a Travis County court, the third court of appeals was just last year, have ruled that it's residential. Furthermore, staying a weekend in a short-term rental does not make that home a hotel any more than staying in a hotel makes that a residential home. Thank, Thank you. you.